This was already the 13th day of our trip from Cape Town to Ventuk with Sama tours and Compass expeditions. Our riders had a free day, so we all woke up very early to go to the Itosha National Park before the sunrise for a safari. Itosha National Park is a renowned wildlife sanctuary located in the north of Namibia. Spanning over 22,000 square kilometers, it features vast salt pan, known as the Itosha Pan, that covers a quarter of the park, diverse landscapes, including grasslands and savannas. The park is famous for its abundant wildlife, including elephants, lions, giraffes and large herds of springbok and zebra. Our safari guide first took us to the Fisher's Pan, which is on the most western side of the Itosha Pan. This is where I could explain to the clients about the size of the pan. It's about 130 kilometers across from east to west and around 65 kilometers from north to south. The name Itosha means Great White Place. Hi, good morning. Welcome back to another episode of this uh, series about uh, Namibia. We are now here in the Itosha National Park at uh, Namatoni Rest Camp. Uh, we did a little bit of a game drive this morning and uh, yeah, we saw some lions, it was quite a bit far away in the distance. And uh, yeah, now we're just having uh, a little bit of a bathroom break and we're going to have some uh, breakfast here as well. So yeah, I hope uh, we get to see you a little bit more and that you enjoy today's video. So uh, yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, that's the uh, crest. It's called the grey go away bird. Grey go away. Make it sound like go away. Exactly, and it goes grey, grey, go away. <laughs> like Australian crows. We came to have a look at this water hole, and our guide pointed out that there was an African wildcat just underneath that overhanging rock. It's overhanging a little bit. Between these acacia bushes, we found a herd of elephants. These animals are highly social animals and live in tight-knit family groups, called herds, which are led by a matriarch, and typically the oldest mother of the herd. Elephants use complex communication through a variety of vocalization, including trumpeting, rumbling and roaring. A full-grown male elephant can weigh up to 6 tons, but they have a weak digestive system. Because they can only digest around 60% of what they eat, they have to eat a lot, almost 5% of their body weight every day. An elephant's diet consists of mostly leaves, grass, twigs, branches, tree bark and roots, which are all very hard material to chew and digest. To compensate, elephants change their teeth six times in their lives. Almost every ten years they will have a new set of molars. So their molars will be breaking and as new molars are forming, they will be pushed out. After about 60 years, elephants does not have molars to chew anymore and will stay close to the water where there is softer vegetation to eat. The 
Itosha has several natural and also some man-made water holes to supply the animals with sufficient drinking water. Visitors to the park typically will drive around the park from water hole to water hole to see what animals there are. These are plains zebras, which are the more common type of zebra in southern Africa. One of my favorite things to do is to sit and relax at a water hole to just see what comes to have a drink. The Tosha pan is truly a mesmerizing place. Nothing lives or grows on the pan, except for when there's a thin layer of rainwater on the surface, which would then attract flamingos. The dust from the pan blows over the rest of the park and the rest of the country to provide it with valuable minerals. This is a male ostrich with a black plumage. The females have the brown feathers. The male's black feathers asserts dominance while the female's brown feathers provides camouflage when incubating eggs on the ground. After the whole morning game driving in the park, we were all feeling a bit heavy-eyed, so we started heading back to Imania Lodge. A relaxing afternoon back at Imania Lodge with lunch and a drink by the waterhole was also going to be very welcome. Here we are again at the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again to Sama Tours and Compass Expeditions for inviting me along on this exciting tour. I really enjoyed it and I'm very thankful that I could make these videos. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming soon. Thank you for watching, see you next time!